Thanks everyone. It's my, um, I'm Jacob Chen, uh, come from the Calling Star Capital. It's my pleasure just to share some of the information from this company. Um, Calling Star Capital uh, is one of the um, venture capital company we're based in Australia, Melbourne. So we founded it in 2015, um, but um, I myself and also um, some, uh, one of my co founder called Ryan Xu uh, is the um, early adopter of the Bitcoin and also the blockchain uh, industry. Um, Calling Star is based on in, in, in Melbourne, as I just mentioned. Um, uh, the current service which we're providing uh, is just including the, uh, the recently like the white papers, uh, book building, um, and also the escrow service and the uh, crowdfunding platform, all these kind of things which are related with the blockchain industry right now. Calling Star, as I mentioned, is a venture capital which is focusing on the blockchain technology and also the industry. So just a week ago, we, uh, we uh, announced that we have a uh, uh, hundred million uh, US dollars acquirement for BW Group. So BW Group um, is one of the leading um, uh, ASIC chip manufacturing and also the um, Bitcoin related business player in China. So right now, they have the most advanced uh, 28 nanometer process based ASIC chip for Litecoin mining. So this is even more efficient than the M miner uh, L3 Plus. As well as this, <coughs> they have also launched the, the world's first 14 nanometer Bitcoin chips on the early of 2016. And now they are now developing the 12 nanometer based ASIC chip for Bitcoin mining. So this is the most recent we have done in this area. So besides this, because the calling Star Capital is focusing on the whole um, ecosystem of the blockchain industry. So besides this, we also have some, some other like the um, blockchain ventures which is focusing on those ICO um, uh, investment and also besides this we also have the leak ICO which is an ICO trading platform because we um, I think some of you might just be aware of the 4th of September which is uh, China government announced the ICO um, things as, as well as they banned the Bitcoin trading in China so but way based in Australia um, we are the current only one which is providing the um, uh, Chinese based or Chinese language service to the ICO um, service as well. So besides all this, um, because we are focusing on the future of this um, blockchain industry, so we establish the joint lab, joint, um, joint lab um, the, the research joint lab with some of the top universities from uh, Australia and also from China. Like we, uh, we have done the joint lab with Monash University as well as the Hong Kong Polytechnic University as well. So soon, we will announce another um, news, which is uh, one of the very famous um, US-based public university uh, to do another research lab for the blockchain technology. Um, these two, which we have already established, will are relate, most related with the uh, project which we invest in, which is called um, Edge Cash. So um, uh, some of you might just know uh, know what is uh, what does that mean for the um, Monash University, because there there's a senior lecturer called Joseph Liu, and his um, paper one of his paper because he's more uh, more focusing on the ring signature uh, cryptographic. So his paper has been used to one of the famous. Um, Cryptocurrency called Monero. So, if, if you guys understand further regarding the cryptocurrency, you will know what Monero is. So, this is 
the things we have we have been done for um, since the 2015 until uh, last week. So this is some of the project we have been investing in and get the early adopted in. So um, you can see the final result that the uh, up to today uh, the overall uh, profit um, profit return in terms of like uh, is is. 1,960% in terms of the fiat currency when you calculate in the result. So, I mean, because this is presenting into, in, into the blockchain technology, um, uh, blockchain uh, community, so some of you, if you have get involved into the ICO um, um, environment, you will know this, uh, this number is real. Because from, just take example for one of the project called Qtum. So compare with the price when they do the ICO, the first day when they launch the trading pair in, into one of the um, famous uh, trading platform in China called Yunbi, they just rise the 45 times. So it's kind of a bit of crazy, but this is where everyone is knowing about ICO and everyone is knowing about blockchain is. So this attract a lot of eyeballs um, but of course, you have some bubbles. But the thing is that, just like um, Buffett says, if you don't drink, it's just like a very nice beer. If you don't drink the bubbles, you don't get a real beer. <laughs> <laughs> so this is some of the projects we have done so far since the March of the uh, first of March until today. So you can see that a lot of um, the uh, in terms of the return has come here. But the thing is that all those kind of things will just put most of this kind of profit back into the industry. Um, the reason with which I say that is that the whole um, society, um, especially the government and regulators, need a bit of more education and also uh, a lot of research part need to be done for the blockchain industry. Um, we have invested in one of the famous um, company in Australia called Blockchain Global Limited. So prior to this, they changed to the name, and their first name is called Bitcoin Group. So that company is trying to list into the ASX, um, ASX by the 2015, which is the first year we established the calling staff. So we invested in, in them, and they're going to use the Bitcoin mining business uh, to be their uh, business model but the problem is that the government didn't realize, or government didn't recognize, or didn't uh, just to accept the prediction of the Bitcoin price, because they say the Bitcoin is, 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 is not predictable in terms of the price, because the um, volatility is too high. So at that point of time, um, the Blockchain Global Limited fight uh, with the government until to the highest call, and finally they win the, um, the um, uh, they win the, the, the situation. And, but the thing is, on uh, the last lap, which is the SX, they gave a different uh, regulation compared with the ASIC. So finally, that company didn't get, it, get um, listed. But the reason is not because that company is not making money, and they, they, they did a, made a very good profit in terms of Bitcoin mining, as well as the, some other business. So the next year, they try the second time for the list uh, for the IPO process. So at that point in time, they changed the name to Blockchain Global, as well as they just add some two um, business model, which is one is called Blockchain um, Consulting, and the other one is the incubation for the blockchain um, projects. Well, the government still don't understand what is the blockchain because the first year um, the business model is Bitcoin. So that company spent the second year to educate the, the government what blockchain is and also what, a blockchain, uh, what a Bitcoin is. So finally, the second time, that company didn't get through the IPO process. But the thing is, through this journey, that company gave a very good education to the regulators and the government of the Australian government. So to bring a lot of difference which uh, the current um, blockchain entrepreneur and also the new startup can benefit from. So one of the famous or one of the most important milestones they, they achieve is that 
the digital currency, especially the Bitcoin and also some other mainstream cryptocurrency like Ethereum, can consider as the company asset, which can be put into the balance sheet of the company if you want to list. So this is the most important step which that company has done. But as well as from that part, we help that company to hold um, more than 40, uh, which is now is up to 40% of a listed company, which is called Digital X. Some people, you might know about it. So through, the other, through this way, that company just sort of nearly go to the, uh, and finish the IPO process. So there's a lot of way to do, uh, then we, have, we can help uh, in terms of just to drive this industry a little bit further. Can I get that next step? So this is the current management team, um, and the fourth is me. So Brian um, is the co-founder of, um, of this venture capital company. And um, yeah, so yeah, this is some of them. Next. We'll get some of the advisors. Uh, the first one, uh, you will see this is Lei, and he's the CEO of the Digital X, which is um, we, we, um, we're going to do something with this company future. Uh, next step. So some of the, some of the other advisors. Uh, quickly go through the next few pages. So this is um, Aust the um, Calling Star Venture Capital, uh, Calling Star Capital is a, a fully licensed um, company uh, in the uh, Australia. We get a full uh, Australian financial services license, uh, which is including one of the uh, venture capital license uh, who is uh, mainly focusing on the, the uh, blockchain in, uh, area, industry area. Okay, uh, this is one of the project, um, which is called Edge Cash. Um, we put a lot of the effort into this uh, project. Uh, the reason we do this is that a lot, because we, uh, as I mentioned, me and Ryan, we are all the early adopters of the Bitcoin. So actually, since 2014, the um, Bitcoin is suffering one of the problem is like uh, people, uh, a lot of people actually want to upgrading the block size of the, the, of the Bitcoin. But um, because of a lot of struggling and which is happening into the uh, community, so finally, even until now, we didn't even get it um, done properly. So now compared with um, the initial coin offering, there's come out a, a new um, method people is doing right now, it's called initial um, forking offering. So, um, can I just go back to that page, the, the Edge Cash page? Yep. So, for this project, um, we, have, uh, we have done a lot of research, as well as we uh, established the uh, research lab with some of the top universities. Um, because we want to bring this community and also this industry some new things. Um, because we um, have been early adopt in this industry and also we study a lot of other coins which we taking some of the good, uh, good um, advantage from uh, the existing uh, pro uh, blockchain project. As well as we have added into one of the renovation into this edge cash project is that the post quantum resistance part. So this has been done through a few uh, top university like uh, Shanghai Jiao Tong University um, and also uh, the Monash uh, Hong Kong Polytechnic. After we have launched this project, we get some new um, professors um, join, uh, join in, which is from the uh, Singapore um, uh, the, the National uh, University, as well as the Nanyang Technology University, and also the Sydney um, Technology um, University. All these kind of the top uh, people or brand which is focusing, uh, they are very specialized into the post-quantum cryptographic, um, which bring this edge cache very um, strong while we're facing the quantum computers after um, the recently IBM launched the quantum computers tester um, platform. So this is what this project, we, we want to bring this to. We get a very heavily involved in this project, um, and we really think um, this project we're going to bring a lot of things to this um, blockchain uh, industry. Um, yeah, the, the amount which we raised uh, is about 21,000 at that point of time. Uh, it was a lot of money. The things that we have spent a lot, uh, they have spent a lot, 
Um, and this project right now is roughly about 600 million uh, US dollars at the moment as a current price. Besides the post-quantum um, cryptographic signature uh, of the edge cache, at the same time, actually, they, they, they just want to do the cross-chain as well. Um, but this is a long-term uh, goal, uh, which I'm looking for that from the team up there is roughly about two or three years' time. Just next. So the edge cache um, is, this is all the trading platform right now is trading the edge cache right now, which I mentioned. The overall capital market is about 600 uh, US a million US dollar. Um, and you can see that uh, I've just done a little bit um, uh, counting, counting there. We have more than 16 trading platform, platforms and also more than 28 trading pairs um, across the world. So definitely like Binance, um, ZB.com and EXX and OKEX. So we used to just to list to CHBTC and also uh, some of the, the important Chinese-based uh, trading platform but because of like um, what has happened on the earlier of the September. So actually you can see most of this, they, are, they all come from the um, uh, Chinese-based um, market-based. They are all um, very good trading platform and also uh, their criteria in terms of listing a coin is very straight. So. Um, yeah, the, the edge cache, um, uh, the, the HyperPay uh, project is one of the ecosystem of the edge cache because um, uh, in the Australia, uh, a lot of people just only know about electrical uh, payment such as like WeChat and uh, Alipay. But, and, and at the time when uh, the, the blockchain global is trying to do the listing, so at the same time actually they introduced the um, uh, Bitcoin payment to some of the restaurant uh, as well as the coffee shop. Uh, but at that time, point of time, people didn't even aware of what a Bitcoin it is and very few people just to know how to use it. So um, this is kind of the ecosystem project we want to uh, combine the um, Alipay, um, WeChat, and also Bitcoin and some other like Ethereum, uh, the digital currency together in one app. So you can just to do this uh, payment uh, from your um, wallet for your daily spending. So this is a quite good project. So we just quickly went through this. Yeah, this is, this is the, um, the stru uh, overall structure of, of the edge pay. But of course, the, yeah, the next page. Uh, They're developing the, um, the app into the, uh, into the um, handphone so that you can use it with your daily handset. Just next step. Yep, next step. Um, this can be linked together with um, the credit card as well. Um, the HyperPay project right now is doing some of the um, uh, credit card, a Visa credit card with some um, organization from Hong Kong. So soon later, uh, we will see uh, they will launch the credit card. Next step. Yeah, this is the structure of the HyperPay system. Don't worry about it. Next step. Uh, of course, it will have a token uh, which can be traded in one of the um, trading platform called CoinW. Um, uh, they are a medium scale of the trading platform uh, which is based in Hong Kong. Next. Yeah, next. So um, basically this is all. And another one is the hyperlending. Uh, I think uh, uh, Daddy will just to uh, introduce. Thanks everyone for your time. All right.